everybody, and welcome to another one of my beer reviews. Today we're trying out a beer from Upstreet Brewing out of PEI. Um, this beer here is a vanilla cranberry stout. So I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone with this one here. Um, as far as stouts goes, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of stouts, but I like dry stouts. Uh, I don't like stouts that's got a, a sweetness added to it, or a fruits to say the least. Uh, but I've had one in the past. Uh, from another brewery, um, from Le uh, it was a cherry, I think it was a, uh, no, uh, a raspberry stout, which was simply amazing. Um, and that one, that one there, I did step out of my comfort zone uh, for trying that one there out, and it paid off big time. It was an amazing beer. And so, for that reason, I'm, I'm giving this one here a try. Another reason why I'm trying it uh, is because Upstreet does some amazing, amazing beer. Uh, I, I, every beer that I had from them so far has been has paid off and. Has been super super great. Uh, I've never been disappointed once with them, uh, so I'm definitely anxious to try this one here out, and uh, that's why uh, <clears throat> I'm taking this one here home with me today. So this one here is I never had it before. Uh, it's the first time I actually seen it at the Bathurst AMBL, but it, this seems to be a beer that they do come out with every year. Uh, this one here is said to be uh, a sweet and roasty stout, balanced by a touch of cranberry tartness. So the tartness is definitely something I'm, I'm going to like uh, if it is present in this beer, uh, as they say that it is, uh, because I do like a sour beer, and tartness in a stout is something that I've only had once, and I totally fell in love with it. So uh, hopefully um, this one here will have a little bit more tartness from the cranberry uh, than the sweetness of vanilla. Um, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Uh, it all depends what you prefer to have in a, uh, in a stout. Uh, me, I prefer to have something dry, and if there's fruit added to it, I like to have it nice and tart. Another thing I like about Upstreet Brewing, their labels, uh, they have uh, a couple of little additions here on the side. Uh, they got these like a, like a meter, uh, so it, it'll tell you if it's, if it's a bitter beer or not. So the hoppiness, hoppiness meter is really, really low. Uh, it says not as bitter as Old Man Winter. So you can expect this to be a, a smooth going down beer, as, as stouts are expected to be. Uh, the color is a long stretch from evening to morning, uh, which is basically black as night. Uh, flavor, roasty, rich and tart. So these are really nice and super helpful when you're going to the liquor store and you don't know what to get. You're looking at a beer that seems interesting, the label looks nice, uh, it's a style of beer that you, that you like but you're not too familiar with it. This a beer profile and label helps so much. It's a great idea that they've done that. Uh, I love it. And the other thing that they do as well is they tell you what food to pair it with. Uh, here they say to pair it with roast beef and root veggies. So if you're going, you're picking this up, you're having dinner at home, you'll know what to pair it with. Um, and they do have some funny things that go with it. Uh, the this, this scene would be Sunday dinner with family and friends and tunes would be classical piano pieces <clears throat> which I could definitely see myself having a black tie affair with some classic piano playing in the background so I don't know about you guys but I'm super excited to see what kind of colors are going to be pouring I know it's going to be pouring black but I'm uh, uh, excited to, to see the aroma and the taste this is the first for me <clears throat> oh and another thing with Upstreet that does uh, that really that's really cool. Under each cap, they've got a little message, and it's just random stuff. I think it's random anyway. I don't see what the correlation is with the beer. But this one here says, oh, Cor Coronation Street. Anyway, I, I don't get it. It might be about that, that show or have something to do with PEI. I don't get it, but sometimes it's, it, it's got some funny things written in it. Nice pour, nice head forming on it, not too carbonated, which is really nice. I don't want to see a, a stout being too too carbonated, I'd like to see one being more or more flat than anything else. So I'm definitely getting big hints of, 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 cho of coffee and dark chocolate right off the nose. A little bit of sweetness of vanilla coming from the aroma right now. Not getting too much of the, the cranberry aroma. But I'm excited to see what we're going to be 
getting in the taste. So let's take a taste. Cheers. Huh. This is good. At first, you don't. Cranberries aren't. I wasn't feeling them right away. <clears throat> Later on in the drink, you feel that tartness coming in. A little bit of sweetness from the fruit. The vanilla, for me, I'm not getting it that much. And I'm happier and I'm not getting it because I don't like vanilla in the stout. Uh, I'd rather have the fruit. And here, the there's a, a great balance of of roasty notes and, and the coffee flavors are in there and that, that slight cranberry tartness like they described is there. It's just the right amount. It's perfect. It's a nice dry finish. Super good. I'm going to have another drink. Definitely good. Not surprised that Upstreet brewed a great beer. This is really, really nice. I'm really starting to get into these, uh, <clears throat> these fruit infused, well, fruit infused stouts that are brewed with fruits. It's a nice tartness. It pairs well with the stout style. Uh, it's definitely something good. So, where can you find this? Uh, I found this over at the, the Bathurst AMBL location. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be. If, if we have it in Bathurst, I'm, I'm thinking it'll be available throughout the province in New Brunswick. And of course in PEI, it'll be uh, widely available over there. And other brewery brewery in, um, where are they situated now exactly? So they're in Charlottetown, PEI. So if, the, if you're in the Charlottetown area, or actually they've just opened up a uh, barbecue and brew house uh, in Halifax, uh, which seems to be a pretty awesome spot. Uh, they've got some retro uh, games in there uh, for you to have fun on. Uh, so if you're in the uh, Halifax area or the Charlottetown area, uh, make sure to drop in and check them out. And uh, if you're in New Brunswick, stop in the liquor store, buy one, um, taste it, and let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you're, you're tasting a little bit more of the vanilla than I am, or if you're just like I am, tasting the, the cranberry and the dryness from, uh, from that fruit, which is just simply amazing. I totally enjoy this, so I uh, hope you go and get one and enjoy it too. Cheers, have a good one.